What is up, peeps? This is for the Win TCG, and I'm talking you back to another YouTube video. And today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm not one really to collect Pokemon cards nowadays, to be honest. Although I'd love to get back into it, but when I was younger, I definitely had a phase of collecting Pokemon cards. Me and my brother. I actually have found the old book. Look how look how old this is, and how ruined it is. <laughs> of Pokemon cards that we collected over the years when we were interested and really passionate about the game. Or should I say collecting. This was back in the uh, noughties era, so there's going to be a lot of cards that came out around that time. Uh, the time I remember being really interested was EX Crystal Guardians, I believe. That one, I was that, that was my peak of interest. I remember being in Devon at one point where my uh, granddad lived and I believe it was Devon on some sort of beach and there was a shop where they had the new re newly released EX Crystal Guardians and I think I got like a hollow Venusaur in there and I was so happy but the, it, really fond memories in this book um, and I, I can't wait to show you them there's gonna be some really valuable cards that well really no to me they have sentimental value but there's gonna be some decently valued cards in here to be honest there was one that was really really valued and I put it in a frame and I've lost it which is uh, only something I would do but uh, yeah with that said enough chit chat so we check out some of these cards. Okie dokie, here we are. There's gonna be a lot of ruined cards in this deck. I have to add that preface, I'll be honest. <laughs> There's a lot of cards that were thrown in the washing machine back in the day. I'm sure some of you know what I mean. I'm sure some of you have been through that. I actually had quite a few valuable cards, but they were just ruined at the time. Uh, to be fair, at the time, I don't know if they were very valuable, but they would be valuable today. But they were absolutely ruined by a washing machine. <laughs> Mum, thanks for that one. But regardless, there are some cards in here that have definitely survived and done really well over the years, and I just can't wait to get into it. So, we'll open the first one, and you can see some uh, pretty cool cards. So we have, there we go, I said it, EX Crystal Guardians. Uh, Charmander promo in here, which is a really cool card. Again, I don't remember, I'll be honest, how we got the, the, the one with the stamp on it. Because I know nowadays it's through battle packs, so the, the battle arena boxes. I forgot they're called. <laughs> these are called starter kits, I think. But um, I, I don't know how these were actually distributed back way back when they were coming out. I have no idea how we got a hold of them. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> we have an e-reader Charmeleon. It's not the e-reader Charizard, I know. <laughs> Speaking of Charizards, we do have one from, this isn't from EX Crystal Guardians. It's from a set, I think just after, but I'm not sure, but it is a hollow Charizard. And to be fair, the condition isn't awful. I mean, to be fair, I don't know too much, I'll be honest with you. I'm more PTCGO, but I know it's white mightening and centering and stuff like that. And to be fair, there's a little bit of whitening down the bottom there, but other than that, I think there's a little bit down here too. Card is in pretty decent condition for how old it is, and uh, I think with a decent PSA rating, it's worth quite a bit. I don't know exactly how much, but to be fair, any sort of Charizard Hollow from a certain era is going to be expensive if it's in decent condition. So that one, I'm definitely happy about. Squirtle, come on, Squirtle Squad, we know we are part of that gang, so that has to be in there. Interesting little story um, with this, with, with these cards. As we get into some more, as you can see, <laughs> look at that, look at that. Oh, that is just disgust. I feel sick looking at it. Base set two Blastoise, and it's just ruined like that. Oh, absolutely awful. We have a little Hollow Pidgeot from the Jungle Collection. We have a base set Hollow Clefairy. These cards are, this is the Phenosaur. This is the one. This is the one I got in a pack that just had me so excited. This just brings me back so much. I'm sure there's a lot of you that are about my age that remember this set coming out. I'm sure you've had similar experiences. So this is just a trip down memory lane for me, to be honest. But yeah, there is there is a little story behind uh, behind these cards. Now, I was, I believe, staying at my mum's at the time. And uh, my brother, who actually owned these, I don't know, I think we found them. And then he said to me, I'll sell them to you for 20 quid. <laughs> at that time, his interest in Pokemon wasn't at its peak. He was definitely interested because he saw me doing it for YouTube. And he was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And he's bought a few packs here and there. But his interest wasn't that great. And he was like, he sell it to me for 20 quid. He knew they were more valuable. He was just doing me a favor as a brother, effectively. And he needed 20 quid. So I was like, okay, sweet. I'll take that off your hands easily. And obviously, that's made back from the first first page. Yeah, he done me that favor of selling me to, selling it to me for 20 quid. And uh, managed to get all these cards out of it. So that's, that's a little fun little story out of it. But yeah, this Blastoise. I wish, man. I, I wish. Being my favorite starter, I know, I'm not a Charizard fan. This, I, 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 I'm going to treasure it greatly. I, I know it's not going to be anything of, of great value, but it's got memories there. And, and it's, again, a base set. It's not base set, original, first edition, or anything down that line. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to be that level of perfectionist, but, man, one of my favorite Pokemon. 
And it's just a trip down memory lane for me. I know, I know I've said that a lot, but this, this is what a lot of this is, to be honest. There's going to be some ruined cards in here, but it's all about the memories. And we have the, I think that's the legendary something collection um, of Moltres, which is basically a base set reprint, if I'm correct. We have Delta Species. Do you remember Delta Species? God. If you don't know what Delta Species is, it basically was, sorry, not is. They would print Pokemon and give them a completely different type. So a Deoxys is a Steel type. You have Metagross as a Lightning type these cards were just interesting <laughs> very interesting i don't think it's been done since i think that era at all if i'm correct my brother i believe was a big big fan of latios if i remember correctly he was a huge fan of latios so you can see why he's got a few latioses this one is in awful condition as well god look at that it's terrible condition but just look at the gorgeous hollow i know i'm not center screen i'm really trying to film and look at the cards at the same time <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at this, okay? If you ever see this, 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 that's dishwasher material. <laughs> this, have I been saying dishwasher this whole time? That's washing machine material. <laughs> and this one. Oh, uh, look at that. Base set hollow Nido King. And it's it's just looking like that. My young self portrayed my future self. Typhlosion here. This card is just amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Let, how, let's look at the condition of this one. I don't think it's that good, to be honest. No, this condition is absolutely awful. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. At least it's not broken apart or torn to shreds, but the condition is quite bad, I'll be honest. But again, Typhlosion just... These cards just, oh, they're so awesome, man. They just make me feel great when I look at them. We've got Delta Species Nida Queen, the jungle set Nida Queen, again, just destroyed by the washing machine. We have the Pokemon first movie promo. God, that movie, bro. Oh, I've never felt so much emotional pain at one point in a certain scene. We have the Fossil Raichu. We have Dragonite in there from the Fossil set. And we have Base Set 2 Dragonair for Alligator, Delta Species, Electabuzz, Promo again. A lot of people would think these promos are worth a lot, but they're not. They're promos. They were given out during the movie and the Pokemon was at its peak at its time. Uh, was it given out during the movie or was it... Were well, these McDonald's? I don't remember. This Polyrath... If it just didn't have that, I don't know what that is. That's a permanent marker, I think. <laughs> That's been drawn on a base set polyrath. You're going to notice the trend that the condition is not great here. And you could probably see why being stored in this thing. But we had no idea what was going on, man. We were just collecting these for fun. We had no idea of the value. We didn't think it was going to go anywhere crazy. We didn't think of it like that. We just had a book and we just put the cards in there, you know? <laughs> you know, I I'm not being too harsh on myself. and not really like, taking care of these because I didn't really care about the value at the time. I didn't think it was gonna be valuable. And on top of that, we, we, we lost our interest in collecting at one point and just forgot these cards existed. The Lapras Fossil, which looks in a decent spot of condition. Again, another EX Crystal Guardians promo there. We got Dark Celebi, which is cool, man. That is just such a cool little card. I remember being so gassed about this. When we was collecting the cards, right, we would um, just be so happy that we got a legendary. Getting a Celebi, I thought I pulled the best card in the set, you know? <laughs> I was like, damn, that is sick. Obviously, it doesn't work like that in a trading card game. You know, Legendary doesn't really mean anything. As time goes on and things become... And you look at you look to things for value, the popularity of the Pokemon plays a big role. So Legendaries and Charizards and all those kind of things, they, they're they going to be a bit more expensive than your standard Pokemon, obviously. Here we got some weird energy. So this is a Psychic Energy, which came from the similar set to the EX Crystal Guardians era. This is when EX was about, I think. I, was this when EX first came about? I'm not sure. But this hollow is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. There's a boost energy in here. This is basically a super boost energy. <laughs> Looking at it, Unseen Forces. And it's got a little promo sticker there as well, which I think is pretty cool. And then we have Warp Energy. We all know Warp switched, it, switched to the bench. I think this was reprinted more recently as well. Delta Species, Typhlosion. Look at the gold. I'm sorry, but that is gorgeous. Just on the border on the outside as well. That holographic is insane. I believe that's referred to as a reverse holo because I don't think the holo is in the background, but on the Pokemon itself. I prefer this. I don't know if that's just me, but that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's a gorgeous card. And of course we have uh, a Dark Magneton and we have Manetric. So that's uh, pretty cool. Right, now we're getting into some funky cards here. Funky, funky cards. So um, obviously we have some of the, the, the base set. We have a base set Nine Tails here. I think my brother was a big fan of Nine Tails back in the day. Hit him on top and stuff. But these bad boys, eh? Oh, taking me back. Now these are in somewhat decent condition. I I'm sure you can tell to a degree. This Mewtwo would have been in good condition if it didn't have this. What on earth is that? That is a disgrace. <laughs> and I would have loved this card so much. Mewtwo is literally my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> the Kyogre. Oh, Sceptile EX. Just look at these Delta species as well. Salamence. My brother loved this card to bits. He would play it. He didn't know how to play it, but he would play it. <laughs> and that's not it. We, we have Groudon. We have Groudon EX. Again, Crystal Guardians collection. I think my brother packed this one. That was just a gorgeous... Little pack there, and, and let's, let's double check the, the condition of these cards here. So this is the Groudon, 
some whitening down here, up here. Again, really not the best. There's going to be some people here are going to be so much better at, at determining a condition of a card than me. But um, these, these are just... Oh, sorry, I know I'm just in awe, but I, every time I look at these cards, they're amazing. And of course, the, the centering's pretty good, but... You know, I'll be honest, I might look to sell these at one point in the future um, if I need the money, but this is all here for just my own little entertainment, you know? <laughs> I love it. This is the Kyogre. Kyogre has a special place in my heart. I always loved Kyogre. I remember playing Pokemon Coliseum and having a level 100 Kyogre in there, and it was just so fun. Great fun memories there. So the condition of these cards aren't bad, you know? They're really not bad. Sorry if it's slightly off-centered, like over here, because I can't center very well, but there we go, Kyogre EX. <sighs> just... Oh! We've got the lovely Flareon GX there as well in terrible conditions. Some more Delta Species Pokemon. I think we really just liked Hollows <laughs> as well. If it shined, it's going in. Um, EX Crystal Guardians, Pelipar. We have the EX Deoxys, Nosepass. So this is all a similar era. This is when we was really at our peak of interest in the game. Victory Bell Jungle absolutely destroyed. Delta Species Crobat, and Mr. Mind Jungle, Blastoise Delta Species. Oh, look at that battle. That's a fighting type, a fighting type. <laughs> Bloody hell. A lot of these cards are bent. Um, I don't know how that happens. I believe it's just over time, to be honest. But that's just what happens, I guess. We've got a, just a Raichu from Fossil. We've got a Dark Raichu in here, which is pretty good. I think that's in better condition than it's, than it's looking. I think it's just in a bad case. Uh, the casing's kind of worn down. Let, let's, let's just double check. So I think it's in a better condition than you'd think. Um, it's still bad condition, don't get me wrong. Yeah, there's that. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. And we have an Electric, Dark Duck Drio, and just to finish off, a simple Jungle Rhyhorn. So, these were usually made, uh, sorry, put together by, you know, our favourite, they were just our favourite Pokemon, they were, they were holographic, they were legendary. God, that just gives me uh, PTSD. <laughs> but it's just so much history for me in here and it's so great to own and I love it to bits and I'm sure you, you you can you have some cards that you have similar sentiments to and that you just love to own and and this is exactly that for me so I'm really really glad to own these it's really cool man really cool stuff especially these EXs these EXs are just they're just amazing they're gorgeous I love these types of hollows by the way man they're just gorgeous especially this e-reader one I wish it was better but hey what can you do? Right, that's going to be it for today. I feel so much nostalgia looking at these cards. Just, just looking at this, just this binder, this awful, rundown, terrible binder. I'm going to get these cards in in a better case, 110%, because they they can't live in here, man. They can't. This, this, look at it. Just it's so bad. It's got pen on it. I don't know how it's got pen on it. It's got weird drawings on it for some reason. At the end of the day. It's housing a lot of memories, and man, it's so cool. I absolutely love this. Let me know which one was your favorite and which one you like the most. If there's one in here that I have just not noticed the value of, definitely point it out. Do leave a like if you did enjoy, and please do subscribe for more content relating to the Pokemon TCG. Um, and of course, most importantly, do subscribe. Um, did I? I? I think I just said that, didn't I? All right, clearly I'm not paying attention. I'm gonna go, see you later, peace.